has rocketed up from in qualification by over half a mark. Asks a lot of Larissa Yordaki. Thirteen point six three three for Yordaki in qualification. The best score in qualifying. But in the team final a fourteen point one three three. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's just so assured. That whole approach of just really mark your landings on the beam. You tell the beam where your feet are, not the other way around. Super. And disguises the adjustment into a piece of choreography. European champion in 2013 on this very piece. Super work. There was a big step back as she landed, but it's a very strong performance again by Larissa Yordake. My, 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 how good it is to see her back. It is wonderful to see her back. Now, we're just hearing there that... <laughs> no, that is not the score for <laughs> Larissa Yordake. A zero. Judges couldn't stand it. That is the number that we really care about for the moment. 12.65 for Bilgita, and she's had her difficulty upgraded. I did say she was a couple of tenths down from qualification. Well, that has been a very worthwhile upgrade well, very worthwhile uh, inquiry if the difficulty score was upgraded. We look back here at the work of Larissa Yordaki, who scored a 14.133 for this in the team final. I'll just to remind you that I'm sure many of you know she's had three surgeries performed on her Achilles. The latest in Austria at the end of 2018. She did say it was 50-50 as to whether she would come back, but in her own words, I didn't choose gymnastics, it chose me. Beautifully put. Yes, there's always a place for Larissa Yordake. And with this performance... There's likely to be a place somewhere on the podium. It's 14. She goes into the gold medal position. It would be the absolute icing on the cake to depart these championships with a title.